those here present in the church building and those watching on the miracle of telecommunications expertise director Gerard Pugh, which is allowing us to bring the prayer service home. And then the way we're doing it is the kids will come in at scheduled times as if by appointment for the celebration of first penance. So whether you're here in the building or at home, maybe watching with mom and dad or grandma or something, we welcome you to a very special mark in the life of the kids and their initiation into our Catholic faith, their first celebration of the sacrament of penance. So let us praise God in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the Lord be with you. Heavenly Father, you have brought us together to receive your forgiveness and your peace through the sacrament of reconciliation. Let us all now ask for God's mercy. Lord Jesus, you've shown us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you give us yourself to heal us and bring us strength. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us with one another and with the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sin and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, we come together because we are your children. No matter how old we are, we are God's children. Help us to remember how much you love us. You sent us your son, Jesus, who died to forgive our sins. You sent the Holy Spirit to help spread your love and forgiveness to everyone in the world. Open our hearts to your words. Guide us along paths that lead to you. We ask this through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. We have a very short reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. There was a shepherd who took care of 100 sheep. One day, one of the sheep wandered away. The shepherd left the other 99 sheep. He searched for the lost one until he found it. He carried it home. Then he called together his friends and said, Rejoice with me, because I have found my lost sheep. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. You know, we read this, uh, this story every year. Usually we have 40 or 50 kids here present. This year it's so different. The kids will be coming in over the next hour or so. But today I was just wondering, I've read this story a thousand times. Why, why did the sheep wander away? It appears that the shepherd was taking good care of the sheep. Why would the one guy go and say, I don't want to be here anymore? Why would that happen? Maybe it's because he said, hey, those kids over there, they, they're more cool. I'm going to go over those kids. They, they look like they're cool kids. I, I'd rather be with them. And so he ran away. Maybe he said, well, the grass over there looks better. The grass over here, eh, it's not that good. So the grass over there is going to be more tasty, so I'll go run over there. Maybe he said, I don't like the shepherd I have. That shepherd over there, he looks like a more fun guy. So I'm going to go over there with him, and he, he'll, he'll have more fun, and he'll get us better food and whatever. He'll just take the... It doesn't tell us why he ran away. I wonder why he said, I, I want to wander away. Maybe he didn't like the, the sheep he was with. So he said, well, I'll go over with those guys. I don't know. It doesn't tell us. You know what else it doesn't tell us? It doesn't tell us how far he wandered away. Did he go like out to the street? You know, maybe, I don't know, 30, 40 yards. Or did he wander a mile away? It doesn't tell us. The story doesn't tell us a lot of stuff that I want to know. But you know what the story does tell us? That it's not about, it's not about the sheep. It's not really about the sheep. It's about Jesus, who doesn't, doesn't care why he ran away. He doesn't. He, he doesn't care. He's not going to be mad at him. In fact, he probably threw him up over his shoulders and carried him home. He didn't care how far he wandered away. If he went 20 miles, he would have walked 20 miles to find that one sheep. It's about how much Jesus was willing to take him back even though he wandered away. 
And that's why we're here today. Every one of us wanders. Some of us wander very far away. Little kids probably don't wander too far. Old people, sometimes we wander really far. But it doesn't matter. God will go any distance, any distance to find us and bring us back. He'll forgive any sin. And that's what we want you young people, those here and those at home, to understand. The sacrament of reconciliation is about God's love for us, how he takes us back no matter how far we wandered, why we wandered, how mad you think God might have been, it doesn't matter. His love is totally available to us. And you guys get to experience it today for the first time in the sacrament of penance. We hope you understand how much God loves you and forgives you and always will. For the adults who are home watching and maybe haven't been to the sacrament of penance in a long time, and maybe some of them have wandered, I don't know, that's up to them. They are welcome home to know God's love too. It's really for all of us today to know that God will go any distance to bring us home to him because he loves us. That's what we're here today to experience, his love, his mercy, and his compassion. What a special day this is for us, for all of us. So let's do our little examination of conscience. And your response will be, I am sorry, Lord, for the times I have forgotten to talk to God, for the times I have used God's name in the wrong way, for the times I have not obeyed my parents or teachers, for the times I've not done my best work, for the times I've been mean or angry with others, for the times I've not been polite or patient, for the times I've cheated or taken something that did not belong to me, for the times I have lied, for the times I have not obeyed God's laws. Let's pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Jesus, today we open our hearts to you asking for forgiveness for the sins we have committed. Help us to be open to your love, knowing that you are always there to watch over us. You are kind and forgiving. Thank you for loving each one of us, whether we're young or whether we're very old, in such a special way. Help us to be filled with your peace and your love. We ask this in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Now, Mrs. Purcell and the other teachers will guide us to our experience of first penance. The kids coming home or watching from home will be coming in at the time they are assigned to come for their first penance experience. So thank you for participating. And Father Gardo is over there, and I am over here. Thank you very much. Mrs. Purcell, you're in charge.